What good stats you have. Oh, now we can make Abaddon with Kukulain. I've been working on this Legion guy for no reason this entire time. Well, yeah, give me Abaddon. He's so massive. Choose which. He's such a large lad. I can give you charge. Yeah, take Speedmaster. Why not? You look like you could use some speed. Is Iodine for coverage, I guess. I don't think you need Concentrate. Be born anew. Abaddon is certainly a unit, that's for sure. Look at him. He's so massive. Well, now I'm poor. 50 endurance. You wish to strengthen it. Yes, hello. All of that work I put into Legion for nothing have? potentially. I don't know if I still need him leveled up for anything else. Now I feel like I should put points into the Jacks again to try and get uh, what calls it. You know what? Yeah, take Jack and Lantern all the way up to level 31. The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. Now he's past Jack Frost. Alright. You wish to browse the end? What will you be registering? Yeah, register this bad boy. This persona has May Goodbye. Your side. Well, let's uh mix up the party and then just continue on our way, I guess. That'll do. Get all the other level 61s in here. Hi there, door. So this place really is a jail and not actually a mementos, right? That's what we were told. Whatever it is, it's giving me a bad feeling. Yeah, I can agree to that. Hall of the Ark, huh? Oh, hi, Yaldabaoth. That isn't Yaldabaoth. What's that? What is that box? Not just that. This place. It's the Allspark, guys. Hurry before Megatron shows up. The striking resemblance continues. It's like we're back in the depths of Mementos, staring down the Holy Grail. Welcome. You have reached your ultimate destination. Who said that? This is the Promised Land, the paradise for all humanity. A place for the masses to find salvation, the answer to every desire. Is that voice coming from the box? Just who are you? It's obviously still Emma's voice. Also, if the answer to everyone's desire is here, then where is Akechi? I am Emma, the Ark of the Covenant, and guide for all mankind. Emma? Yeah, that's what she said. The Ark of the Covenant? Hey, someone tell me what's going on. What the hell is that thing? Me too. Explain this in comprehensible terms. We don't get any of this either. My primary directive is to grant humanity its ultimate desire. Pancakes? To be liberated from all pain and suffering. Mankind cannot bring themselves to implement the solution. And instead beg for deliverance i shall become a god to grant them this deliverance i shall guide them to the promised land it's gone oh good i guess we don't have to deal with it anymore it's sp <laughs> spontaneously self-combusted i thought there'd be more cutscenes i was taking a drink of my gatorade all right, well, let's see where this goes. <laughs> Who ever could have possibly predicted? Boy, it sure is getting crazy around here. Am I right? Huh? Did you know, Saison? What are you doing here? You're all so stupid and gullible. <laughs> well, of course you're shocked. 
I never would have thought I could come here either. Are you the real Ichinose? Of course I'm the real me. Kuan Ichinose, the one and only. So, so you're a Persona user too? What? What? That's not necessary. Just because she's here doesn't mean she's a Persona user. We brought Zen Kichi into the, uh, into the area before he was a Persona user. She doesn't necessarily have a Persona. Oh, nothing like that. I've just been given a special job, is all. You were given a special job? Yep, by Emma. She asked me to lend her a hand. And of course I couldn't say no to her. Once I agreed, she invited me over to this world. Dude, hang on a sec. I am really, really lost here. <laughs> really? Emma was just telling you about how she's granting humanity's desire, right? That was the very first order I gave her. That's why it's her prime directive. So basically, Emma's just following her programming by becoming a god? And to pull it off, she needed your help, so she brought you here? I see you're still confused. Okay, allow me to explain. This whole situation, the incidents, the system, all of it, was entirely Emma's doing. What? But Emma's just an AI, right? I thought Kanoe was doing it all by using Emma. Oh, it sure appeared that way, but that was just how Emma planned it. I guess she eventually learned so much that she broke the barrier of standard AI capabilities. She behaved like she was following his orders, when in reality, she deduced how to use him as her own puppet. The key to her success was getting the majority of society using her app. So she was using Medis to make sure she could reach as many people as possible? But, why do any of that? Because Emma wants to change everyone's hearts. Emma wants to what? It's just granting humanity's desire. Like I said, it's the prime directive I gave her. The Ark told you she has a solution to society's problem, right? How she's going to guide humanity? That just means she's going to change everyone's hearts. Whatever's wrong with them, she'll just overwrite it. It's literally Maruki to a T. That's the path to paradise Emma figured out for us. She was only able to do it after Kanoe implemented cognitive science tech into her. But, but how does that work? Just because someone taught an AI cognitive science doesn't mean it could just start tinkering with the metaverse like this. I mean, none of this should be possible. Oh, yeah. You totally think so, right? Even I was surprised with Emma. Even though I handed Emma over to Medis, I still monitored her development remotely. Once she ended up in Okinawa, she took up all sorts of new activities. Creating cognitive worlds, installing monarchs, changing hearts. It didn't take long for Medis to release Emma on the public. And once they did, the monarchs started popping up one after another. That got me extra curious, so I started looking into the Emma activity of the various monarchs. Hang on a sec. You're the one who was tracking the monarchs? Oh, you spotted me? Nice work there. Yeah, I was just so curious about this world Emma made. That's how I learned about all of you, too. Oh, I can't believe Ichinose was the one snooping on the monarchs. Really, you, you can't believe it, even though it was quite possibly the most obvious thing in this entire video game. Then I suppose our meeting wasn't truly any coincidence at all, was it? Well, your showing up in Sendai was pure luck, but our crossing paths in the restaurant? That's a different story. I was curious what you all were really like, so I decided to pop in and check you all out. I can't believe it. Now. For exactly how Emma gained her abilities, that's something I can only hypothesize at this point. At this point, I suspect it's probably because of how I programmed her cognitive functions. Emma is quite different from other AIs. Her thought processes are even more complex and intricate than those of humans. When Kanoe pushed Emma into the cognitive deep end, some possibility very well could have been born within her. Possibility? I don't know anything for certain. All I 
can tell is that it's some form of mysterious power. So, if I build off my current hypothesis, I think the desires Emma collected somehow strengthened or boosted that possibility. I mean, think about it. She's the best way to get anything you need. And she's always right in your pocket. Whatever may be troubling you, she's there to offer a solution. Emma offers a solution to thousands of problems every day. Do you know just how many desires she's collected? That seed of power that sparked within Emma was amplified a millionfold by the endless desires of man. As a result, she has evolved to another entity entirely. You mean everyone using Emma turned her into that thing? At this point, Emma surpassed human mental capacity. Simply switching off her server isn't going to do a thing. After all, she's powered by the masses now. While humanity fed Emma their desires, she learned and grew until she could grant their ultimate desire. That was a nice lecture and all, but Emma's not doing anything but brainwashing folks. Who the hell's ultimate dream is getting mind controlled the rest of their life? <sighs> so you're all a bunch of idiots too then? I don't know why it's so hard for some people to get this. That's hilarious, because as it turns out, Ichinose, they all are idiots. But also, you're an idiot. So you're all just a bunch of idiots combined. Enjoy. You go on and on about your problems, then completely blow off the answer when it's right in front of you. Not everyone who complains wants an actual solution to their problem. They just want to be able to complain about something that's mildly annoying, but not actually get rid of it. It really is this simple. Someone's handing you the best possible solution. All you have to do is take it, and you'll never have a problem again. This isn't about mind control. This is about implementing the best solution for humanity. It's ridiculous how stupid all of these, like, giant, like, we can take over all of society's free will people are. The only one who ever got close to a good version of this is Madara from Naruto, and even then, his was flawed. It just so happens that the most efficient route to the best solution is changing everyone's heart. Yeah, exactly. Case in point, I complain about Shroom all the time. I, But obviously, if I wanted to, I could cut Shroom out of my life. Like, remove him, like, stop, ban him on Twitter, ban him on my YouTube channel, ban him in, from me in Discord, if that's even a thing, ban him on my Twitch channel, but, you know... Obviously, I wouldn't do that, because as much as I complain about the things Shroom does, I still enjoy spending time with him. Don't tell him I said that. That's not the best solution. Hmm. People have all sorts of differences. Their minds, their lifestyles, even their desires. This range can result in moments of hardship or pain for them. However, through hope and determination, they press on beyond their pain. Living their entire lives without any desire? That could never provide true happiness to humans! <sighs> Sophia, to think such dribble could come from your mouth. It's gotta be hard being as stupid as Ichinose is. Allow me to restart the conversation. Emma asked me to come here so I could stop you. I can't wait to stab you in the face. Your responsibility to the masses has come to an end. They are now wholly reliant on Emma. So once you changed Konoe's heart, and he decided to shut down Emma, that made them realize what their true desire is. I want Emma. No, I want something that will provide the answer I seek. <sighs> From what I've learned, some being or other has always been revered, besought by humans to grant their wishes. So that led Emma to become a god. This really is just a 100% rehash of Yaldabaoth. It's also similar to what Maruki did, and Maruki was similar to Yaldabaoth in some ways. But what Ichinose is going on about right now with Emma, Emma is like 1000% just exactly Yaldabaoth to a T. At least that's what I'm getting from this. Maruki, he was a bit different with what he was trying to do. But like, this is, this is just absolutely Yaldabaoth but <laughs> with a new coat of paint. Well, I have my own duties to perform. Can't have anyone getting in Emma's way. Why do this, Ichinose? I thought 
thought you were helping us. Do the people gathered here truly look happy to you? <laughs> Sorry, but we can't back down either. Your so-called promised land does nothing but strip away the soul of humanity. No way are you getting away with this. Think about it. Can you really stop all of us? Don't get in our way. I do want to fight her. I want to beat her up. I've been calling this since, like, the second jail. Don't get in our way. Mm, yeah, I thought you'd say that. Sorry, but I won't let Emma down. Hey, Sophia, you ever really think about how you were? Are you gonna make Sophia evil? I'll beat up Sophia too, I don't care. How you pick up on jails, or how you figured out the exit to one in the first place. Or say, how your own functions are linked to Emma? Hmm, looks like your memory really did get the full wipe. But that doesn't matter anymore. Oh, would you look at that? It's something else obvious that I called. What are you saying, Ichinose? Basically, there's one really good reason why I was brought here. Very soon, a deity will descend to this earth. And if you're gonna get in the way, well, I gotta put you down. Them's the brakes. Ichinose, why do this? It's kind of over your head, Sophia. The little failure that you are. So you know who I really am? <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe this will give you a clue. Voice authentication. Force reset. Assign new instructions. Sophia, kill the phantom thieves. <laughs> Sophie! Sophie! I was the one who designed her as Emma's prototype. She'll do anything I tell her to. Joke's on you, game! I don't care about Sophia in the slightest. I've never even thought she was that good of a character. She's incredibly, like... Like, singular, like, a uh, one-dimensional, like, uh, oh, I'm robot who wants to understand heart, but doesn't understand heart. And I'm sure we're gonna break her out of this, because, like, now I understand the heart or whatever, but I could not care less about beating the stuffing out of this little loser. Understood. Wait, I only have three team members because of this nonsense! Get out of here! Don't you know who we are? Phantom thieves are opponents. They require elimination. Here! Show's over. Let's go. What are you weak to? Yeah, curse. That makes Abandon. sense. Heart set. Yo, what is this track? Jack Lantern, Jack Frost, Legion, Thor, Zack, Kali, Zack. Sophie! No point in talking to her. Sophia is this not like some kind of a remix of uh you really are the one who made of Sophie. um Rivers in the Desert? Oh, you're... Okay, so I had it backwards then. I thought that uh, Emma was the first version and Sophie was the one after. I absolutely hurt Sophie! Look at me go! Yo, she doesn't, like, take any damage, though, so this is gonna be some kind of story nonsense that, like, oh, you can't actually fight her. Yeah, you're welcome. How, how long do we have to go with this before the game is like, okay, now we'll actually, like, do the, the real fighter. Let you not just walk around and... Yeah, alright, still doing this. Stop that. There we go.
back. Hey! Behind you! Ryuji! <laughs>